Hello everyone. Today, we're tackling a tricky problem. Many of you have Android devices. Some of these devices lack a gyroscope. This sensor is important for some apps and games. Today, I'll show you a way to potentially enable a gyroscope without rooting your phone. Rooting can be risky. This method offers a safer alternative. Remember, this may not work for everyone. It depends on your device. Let's dive into it. First, let's understand why your device might not have a gyroscope. Manufacturers sometimes omit it to cut costs. It's more common in budget phones. The built-in hardware might just be missing. Therefore, emulating it is our goal. We will be using sensor emulation apps. There are several apps on the Play Store that claim to emulate a gyroscope. One popular option is using apps that leverage other sensors. These sensors include the accelerometer and magnetometer. These apps combine data from these sensors. The apps can then simulate gyroscope functionality. To begin, search for gyroscope emulator on the Google Play Store. Read reviews carefully. Choose an app with good ratings and many downloads. This indicates reliability. Download and install the app. Next, open the app and follow the on-screen instructions. The app might ask for permission to access your device's sensors. Grant these permissions. Without them, the app cannot function. The app may require calibration. Follow the calibration steps carefully. This usually involves moving your phone in specific patterns. Calibration ensures accuracy. Now, test if the gyroscope emulation works. You can use a compass app. Check if the compass responds smoothly to rotations. Alternatively, try a game that requires a gyroscope. Games like VR games are good examples. Note if the motion is accurate. If the emulation is laggy or inaccurate, try adjusting the app settings. Some apps allow you to fine-tune the sensor fusion algorithms. Experiment with different settings. See if you can improve the performance. It's essential to remember that this method isn't perfect. Emulated gyroscopes are rarely as accurate as real ones. They might introduce some lag. The performance depends on your phone's other sensors. However, this is still a viable option. It allows you to use apps that would otherwise be incompatible. Be aware of battery consumption. Emulating sensors can drain your battery faster. Close the emulation app when you're not using it. This will help conserve power. If none of the apps work, your phone may simply be incompatible. Some devices lack the necessary sensors to emulate a gyroscope effectively. It's also possible that your phone's operating system restricts sensor access. Unfortunately, there's no guaranteed solution. That's it for today's tutorial. This method can unlock new possibilities for your unsupported device. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Your support helps me create more content. Also, share this video with your friends who might find it useful. Let me know in the comments which apps you tried and if they worked. What other tutorials would you like to see? I'm always looking for new ideas. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.